and welcome to In Nature. My name is Monica. I'm a student wildlife ecologist and I'm the host of this podcast. Join me as I explore nature and identify plants and animals that I see and hear. This episode is recorded in Bangor, Maine, where I live at the City Forest. The City Forest is has about nine miles of trails in it, and uh, it is open to the public, um, and it is one of my very favorite places to explore. Today, it is about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about minus one Celsius for you Celsius fans out there. Um, before we get into the uh, nature walking, um, I would like to give you a little bit of information about what I take with me on all of my nature walks and um, how to be prepared for winter because um, it is March the 16th, 2020 um, and it is still pretty chilly. Um, You can see a little bit of snow in the background there. Um, Get the camera going that way. So you can see a little bit of snow still left on the ground. Um, There's a little bit of ice on the trails, so I will be using a pair of, where did they go? There we go. On the bottom of my boots, I will be wearing um, a pair of ice cleats so that I don't slip and fall on the ice. Um, It's because a a couple of the trails still have quite a bit of ice on them. Um, As far as what I generally wear when I go out, um, I have a pair of insulated muck boots. Um, that I really, really like. I got them not that long ago, but they're my favorite winter boots right now. Um, I will also have my ice cleats, as I said. Um, I'm wearing wool leggings and um, a bunch of hand knits. Um, I'm also the host of a knitting podcast, so if you want to find out more about my hand knits, you can go over there. It is called Quarrelsome Rhinoceros Stitches. I will have a link down in the description. Anyway, um, Yeah, so I make sure that I have a hat because you lose a lot of heat out of your head. Um, I do have a pair of gloves if my hands get cold, um, but I also have these hot hands. Um, They are really, really useful if you get cold while you're you're out. So that's what I have for safety gear, sort of, I guess, today. Um, And my big big, um, winter coat that has uh, heat reflective lining in it. So it's really, really warm and cozy for the winter. Um, and yes, it is still winter. Um, obviously it is 30 degrees today, so that's below freezing. Um, but there's a lot of sunshine and very, very little, um, let's point you up. It's very, very little cloud cover up there. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we've got very, very little cloud cover out there, which is really nice. Um, so the extra things that I take with me usually are um, a notebook and a pencil. Um, I really like the write in the rain notebooks. It's kind of a, I guess, an industry standard. A lot of people really like these because they don't, um, they don't get gross in the rain, which is really nice and you can still write on them. Um, And um, yeah, so I really like carrying that with me. I like to write down the things that I find, like the the species that I find, um, so I know that I've seen them before. Um, I also write down things like weather conditions and the date and things like that in them. Um, I also bring with me every time a field guide, um, usually a sort of broad field guide because I haven't really gotten into any specific uh, areas of interest, I guess, yet. Um, I don't tend to bring like a bird field guide specifically. I'm not really, um, I mean, I like birds, um, but I I like trying to find mammals instead. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I also brought, today I brought, um, this is my binoculars, which are, these guys here they're kind of a they're just like a cheap pair from uh amazon they've got a little cover for the lenses which i really like um what is it called they're called sky genius i believe they're a 10 by 50. um so there is that um so those are the things that i brought with me today um i keep them usually in a backpack um so i've got that i also brought a little bit of trail mix with me just in case i get a little uh peckish on my on my walk today um but yeah so other than that what i'm going to do is uh take a walk through the forest and i will 
chat with you about any really cool things that I find or anything that I want to tell you about uh, as we get to them. So um, we will start our walk. some black-capped chickadees in one of these trees back behind me. You can kind of hear them twittering at each other. The black-capped chickadee is uh, our state bird in Maine. Um, they're really, really tiny um, and they're very cute um, and they are very abundant. So we made it to the first trail marker here, or the first map, I guess, of the Bangor City Forest. This is Roland Perry City Forest. All right, so we just came in. We are right, we're right down here. So if we go this way, we're going on the bog trail. And then if we head this way, I believe we will be headed toward the east, the east west loop trail. So what we're going to do is going to head this way and we are going to keep going until marker number nine. And then we'll loop back around and do some other, some smaller trails on the way back.
to mention that I have my compass. I've got a compass. I also bring that with me on my walks. It was in my pocket, not in my bag, which is why I didn't remember to talk about it. Over here, you can kind of see where some of the ice has melted. So one of my very favorite trees in Maine is this tree right here. I was sitting next to one in my little intro talk. Um, this is an American beech tree, I believe. They retain their leaves throughout winter, even though they're not a an evergreen. Obviously, they're not green anymore. Um, but I think it adds a little bit of a different color scheme to the winter which is nice um but yeah so that's one of my very favorite main trees so, over here we can hear a little bit of running water so i'm gonna go check it out a little bit So we've got some melt happening.
So we just made it. We started, the first marker we came to was this 11 here. We just went all the way along here and this is number 10. So what we're, what we could continue, we could continue along the same trail, but this goes all the way around the city forest. We're not going to do that big of a trip today. So um, instead of going straight, we are going to go right down this way um, on this bigger trail. So we are going to head to the next marker will be an L and then we're going to head over to J and then K and then back to the parking lot. And I keep hearing some birds over there, so maybe we can get some good footage of the birds. I saw a squirrel. He was eating, perched on a little branch. It took me forever to find we him. We made it to L. We are gonna turn right down this um, this little trail to get up to J, and then we're gonna come back around, probably down to K, and then back to our car. So, let's go. to trail marker J. One of the things that I didn't pack in my ready bag was an extra battery or a power pack for my phone, which means it died. So this is what we're going to do to get out. Um, I'll show you on the map what, where we're going to walk uh, and then I will maybe insert some pictures if I can. So, so we are at J right now. We're going to walk down the trip road until we hit um, K, and then we're gonna go to A, and then the parking lot is right here. So, there we go. Next time, power pack for the phone. <laughs> so much for tuning in for the first episode of In Nature. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Bangor City Forest Trails, the what little we did of them today. 
I'm sure we'll be back here pretty soon once, once the snow is a little bit more melted and it's a little warmer outside. So feel free to follow me on social media. I will have my links down below. Um, you can also subscribe, like the video, and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when we upload our second video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!